Alright, so in this lesson we're going to be learning how to zip and unzip files and folders. Alright, let's get started. It's exciting this one, kind of. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm going to see down to my desktop so you can see what's happening within the GUI. And we're going to create mkdir and we're just going to make it test and we're going to zip and this is going to be the name of the the uh, file test and then test.zip whoops wrong way round I knew that was going to be wrong the second I typed it don't worry so test zip the t zip test.zip is the name of the file you want it to be called and then the name of the folder there we go so let's do it again so we're just going to create a file this time and we're just going to call it chicken who doesn't love chicken um, we're going to zip and what we want it to be called so it doesn't have to be chicken.zip or test.zip or whatever the original file is it can call it cheese and dot zip and then the name of the file which is chicken so now I'll delete the original files Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if now if we just double click it, here it is. There's the test folder. And here is the chicken file. So if we wanted to unzip them with the terminal, we could just go unzip. and the name of the file, so test.zip there it is uh, now I'm going to be showing you how to do it I'll just get the original files back there we go now we've got the original folder and the original file and we're going to zip them into an encrypted So in other words, with a password, so it's dash E. So if you're looking for other types to zip, remember the manual, the man command. If you don't know what it is, I've got a video in it, on it. Uh, so zip dash, uh, yeah, I set my computer to shut down in five minutes. So, oops. so zip. dash e chicken uh, yeah uh, we have to give the name sorry I got confused for a second chicken so now it's the name of the zip file and the name of the file and a password for it so we're gonna call it no oh, it's just enter password whatever password you want verify the password there we go. Now, if we tried to unzip it, it'd have to ask for a password. So, go into the password. If I enter the wrong password, please enter a password. Wrong thing. Now, there it is. Uh, it extracted chicken, but because we've already got the chicken file, it had to call it chicken2. Uh, so, same thing goes for the test file. Uh, it's if you get confused with any of it, it's good to read the man page. So, man, what are we doing? Zip. So, just read through here if you like. Mac OS, supports, example, etc. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and please like and subscribe.